My daughter Rebecca came to me with a project, with an idea she had. She saw some flower boxes with light posts sticking out of the center of them and asked if we could make them. Well, surely we could make them. I, I have a sawmill. We have all the wood. So what we did is we cut up a couple uh, white oak logs, milled up all the boards and the posts, and uh, we, her and I built these four boxes for around her bonfire pit. Easy to build. Just follow what we're doing, and they're very simple. My daughter Rebecca has never been afraid of work. She usually has two or three jobs going at one time. And when she was probably 14 or 15, I bought her first set of DeWalt tools. It was one of those combo sets with a circular saw, a drill motor, an impact tool, and I believe something else. A little balls all maybe? But she knows what she's doing. She does a pretty good job. Here she's picture framing in the top to give it a nice clean look. On the bottom, she's picture framing in the bottom as well to give it a nice clean look. We finally deliver them over to her lake house and her and I get these all set up. This is her Airbnb. She rents this out if you're ever interested. It is on Airbnb on 4th Lake in Fremont, Michigan. I'm just getting the final touches here. Now that I got all the lights up, I'm trying to get them equally spaced around the bonfire. Man, I'm really happy with how these turned out. They look great. 
So these should last for quite some time. The planks are all white oak and the three inch posts going up, they're eight foot tall. They too are white oak. The inside the boxes, I burned them so they do last longer. See where we're at here. A little more. Yeah, perfect. That'll leave some room for me to put the plants. Right. We'll get these cleaned up when we're done here. Wow. The rain didn't slow us down. We got them all put in and she actually uh, planted all the plants in the rain as well. I burned the legs so they're black. I kind of like it because it appears they're off the ground, like they're floating a little bit, three, four inches off the ground. What a view, huh? This lake only has a few houses on it. And it's pretty much a private lake. There's no boat launches on it. Next week, there are two nights available. <laughs> Maybe we keep it for ourselves. <laughs> she planted spearmint and oregano in these boxes. It all came from our house. My wife thinned out our, our uh, oregano garden and our spearmint garden.